I'm R.H. Snow coming to you live from my boudoir motivation booth in my double edit zoom. And I'm the author of the post apocalyptic sci fi western series, which has been nominated for Prometheus Awards Novel of the Year uh, for 2021. And today we are talking about Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to those of you who are actually happy about it. Congratulations. You have a reason to be happy. And you should be. You're blessed. And you need to remind yourself of that every day while you still have him to hug. Uh, and then there are a lot of people that have a tough time with this today. Uh, not just because their own fathers may have failed them in some way, but also because sometimes some of us are parents and we failed and it's really, really painful to talk about it and think about it. A lot of the spiritual real estate in Watch of the Dam deals with parental relationships with children. Uh, and as adults, how we deal with our memories of relationships. And it's a really exciting thing to explore. I wanted to talk about the patriarchy. And for a lot of people, this is a very, very toxic word. It's not something they want to talk about. I'm here to tell you that the patriarchy saved my life. Um, people think of patriarchy as a man who tells everybody else what to do and they're being evil and they're being toxic and they're doing all the things that men do. And I'm here to tell you about a man that did everything he was supposed to do that was also telling me what to do, who was trying to get me to do things a certain way, but he was a patriarch in the right sense of the word. He was my father and I loved him very much. He was very much a very masculine person. He was a World War II veteran. Uh, lived with PTSD all his life, as long as I remembered him. Uh, was a very accomplished and strong person and also worked on uh, the NASA project for the Apollo 11 uh, Saturn V rocket. A uh, brilliant man. He was a patriarch. And people say, well, how can you say that and like it? You want to be a submissive woman. No, I did Let's talk about the patriarchy. Patriarchs don't mean that you don't have matriarchs also. And my mother was a very strong woman. And if you know anything about Texas, we are known for having very tough men and very tough women. This is a hard environment to live in. And you don't live here for seven generations and be weak. Uh, you have to be able to take care of yourself. You have to be strong. But a strong man doing what a father is supposed to do is a good thing. And a strong mother who does what she is supposed to do is a blessing. Never let anyone tell you that somebody shouldn't defend the innocent and the weak. Uh, let me tell you what it means to be a 411 woman. And I actually had a, a drawing on my blog this week that I, about a little person. I'm 411. But I actually am considered by some people to be a little person. I actually miss it by one inch. And uh, I was uh, taught to act as if I'm bigger than I am and to uh, be insistent about what I need in life and I was very blessed that I was trained to be a strong little person. I did that because of my father. Now my father was a patriarch. He let me know in no uncertain terms that he would outright murder anyone that tried to hurt me. I really appreciated that as a very tiny little girl. Uh, my mother was a matriarch who actually went to school because I am not a very aggressive person. She went to school and she hunted down bullies that were after me, and she told them that she wished that they could understand what it meant to love somebody enough that you would go to school to fight for them. And one of them started crying and said, I, I wish my mom and mother had done for me what you did. My mother was strong. Being a patriarch doesn't mean you run over other people. It means you protect them and help them to the best of your ability. You don't have to be a physically strong person to be a patriarch. You're a king. You're in control of yourself and your environment. A matriarch is a queen, and she is able to guide and rule in a benevolent manner. But people get it wrong. Children aren't there to be servants, and they're not there to be bullied. They are heirs to the throne. And when you demonstrate what it means to be a strong, wise, benevolent, loving ruler, and you are raising the next generation to be strong and wise and benevolent. You're creating kings and queens. You're creating the next set of patriarchs and matriarchs. We're going to take back the word. There's nothing wrong with the patriarchy. There's nothing wrong with strong men doing strong things to defend the lives of their families and their communities and their freedom. 
there's nothing wrong with women being tough and brave and, and able to overcome anything and willing to fight hell itself for their children. And there's nothing wrong with children going, this is my family and this is who I am and I'm proud of who I am. My father as a patriarch taught me to do everything that I could do. He never told me I couldn't do something. He let me find out what I could do. He let me find out what I was capable of doing. Uh, he never lied to me about it either. He told me that it would be very hard for me to fight somebody a lot bigger than me. He taught me how. He actually taught me how to be deadly. I'm not a very deadly person. I have a very tough time with uh, dealing out pain, but I know how. And because my father was a tough, strong patriarch who knew how to kill a man with his bare hands, and because he taught me, he also understood my limitations as a very small person with a mindset towards, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, meekness in some cases, and he taught me how to do evasive maneuvers, and it saved my life one day in a, in a stairwell where I was facing down a much larger man than myself. I was in high heels, and I was walking up the stairs backwards as this gentleman tried to accost me in the stairwell, and I was able to evade this person because my patriarch taught me how to defend myself, and he taught me I was worth defending. I'm here to tell you today that you're worth defending. You are worth fighting for. You are worth being a king, a queen, an heir to that throne in your heart. Even if no one ever told you that, even if no one ever proved to you that you were worth fighting for, I want to tell you today that you are and your future is in your hands. The patriarch that you can be in your life, the matriarch that you can be, the heir to the throne that you are is within you. And your past does not determine who you are. The past does not determine your worth. You now, who you are, determines who you will be. And I want you to know that today. So happy Father's Day. Be the father inside of you that you needed. And if you had one of the patriarchs in your life that gave you strength and courage and fought for you, then tell God thank you today and hug them. And remember them in your heart. And thank you so much for listening to me on this. I hope that we can all take back that word uh, and uh, make better use of it. Patriarchy. Let's take it back. This is Art Snow coming to you live from the Boudoir Predaciousness in my double white of doom. And I love you and I will see you next week. Bye bye.